A massive war for a single island over here? Is it worth it? Probably not. Are we going to do it? Yeah, we definitely are. You can see the Lithuanians coming over here, so I'm just going to blockade them because screw them. That's why. Welcome back, everybody, to Third Odyssey. I do hope you guys have been enjoying the run. I'm having quite a bit of fun here. This is actually perfect if they just want to stand a bunch of men over here and, uh, you know, tentatively plan on that. Me these guys over here are going to have a heck of a bad time. Look at that. 60 day siege ticks. I'm just letting my boys over here recoup a bit. And then we are going to head in here. Stack wipe you and stack wipe you. Yeah, there we go. They're going to get wiped. Very good. Split them up. Split them up. Have you guys head over here. See if we can bait them across that straight. So I'm probably going to end up having to head over there eventually. But the, lo the losses they're taking from attrition alone are very high. Um, now, should I go with some discipline? I suppose I should probably look for a discipline advisor. That was a, a level... Uh, half off trade efficiency guy. So that's kind of a bummer that he died. Uh, but it's not a huge deal. We might be able to do like a little bit of the cheese where we put them on a boat and then they start crossing because they feel, you know, cocky. Or they're just going to stand there and not do anything. All right. Well, this is fine as well. All right. We have forgotten the icon of St. Alusha. That is fine. I want the icon of St. Michael. And I also want to get a discipline advisor. Yes, please. And uh, ideally, we get a trade efficiency advisor as well. Now, did I update this? I am in the process of it. Let's go ahead and buy that out. And uh, these guys are on the minus. They've got a, a barrage there. So let's go ahead and get our armies over. Uh, they took my subject. It's fine. Now, they'll come across here. And uh, again, Highlands. So defensiveness is uh, in our favor. Let's get you guys over here again. And then, meanwhile, we will attack them. Brandenburg and Lithuania. Lithuania is on medium. That's actually a good thing for us. Because these guys over here have, uh, you guessed it, poopy siege ticks. Defensiveness is so strong. Uh, let's go with some trade efficiency. Get you guys leveled up to at least level three. And then these guys over here will get, get attacked. Shift consolidate and leave behind the uh, the damaged regiments. I wish there was hotkeys for that man. That's uh that's something I remember. I was in a Discord with a couple of the uh, the Tinto lads, and I was with Levick, and we were talking about that. And he said, "I wish there was a detached damaged regiments button." I certainly certainly agree with that. Okay, so Lithuania has lost 127. So I've only lost 140. Lithuania has lost about as many as I have. Venice alone has lost 40. That is crazy. Okay, so Poland and Lithuania are both feeling the heat. Uh, their war exhaustion will go up from the losses. They will continue to go up from the losses. And now that we've got some extra discipline here, you can see our discipline is 118. That is really going to help us out with our uh, minimizing our losses. So let's go ahead and detach you guys. Pull over that army here. And uh, let's get these guys all grouped up because this is about a half stack over here, if I had to guess, right? 35 or 13. Okay, I don't know what's going on with these armies, but this is fine. We will let these guys um, recoup for at least a couple of months. Again, this is a 70 stack, so let them uh, get a little bit there. Uh, trade power brought is fine. And then meanwhile, if they want to come over, they can come over. I have no, uh, no issues with that. All right, very good. I will head in here, make sure we got our better general. 4-4 four, four, or 6-2. Uh, let's go with the 4-4. Four, four. And there we go. And just like that, that stack is now dead. Lithuania is not feeling so good, Mr. Stark. And there you go. There's, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You guys are such idiots, bro. Lithuania, why? Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, that is absolutely bonkers. All right, let's, all right. <laughs> I can't even like comprehend this. All right, I can lose quite a few more men and uh, they cannot, so. Go for the eyes. 15% morale. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, we're going to blockade them. They're going to stand over here and take um, very, very gnarly attrition on that siege. They got a wall breach. Don't care. Hey, cool. Small aqueduct. Uh, yep. And these guys... Dude, Lithuania is taking so much attrition right now. All right. Um... No, we're going to hold off. We're going to just wait because the, the later we take it, the better it is for our mana. All right, shift consolidate, shift consolidate, bring them in. 
Yep, they are. Oh my gosh, our morale and discipline is like way better than theirs, and they're all dead. They are now completely gone. So Lithuania had like 300 some thousand before. Yeah, not anymore. Um, let's go ahead and detach you guys and then have you brought over here. And you guessed it. <laughs> Wipe them out too. You really can't beat it, right? It's so good. All right. We will give you guys one monthly tick there. Oh, they want to bring over a couple more men, be my guest. I will go one more monthly tick here. And, uh, oh shoot, they attacked me over here. Well, that wasn't ideal. Poland. Come on now, Poland. Being stinky. All right. I will take this. Oh, shoot. I can't. I'm being a dum-dum. All right. Let's head in here with you. They are not going to be able to cross the strait. And just like that. Look at that. Almost a half a million losses on their side. We're just depopulating Europe at this point, right? Uh, again, bring them over. We'll beat them up. Actually, I might just uh, boat bomb these guys this time. And we will um, shift consolidate. Are we going to be there before the monthly tick? Definitely. So shift consolidate, boat bomb them, and uh, pull them out like that. And there you go. Poland is now dead. Lithuania wants out, so I will white piece you. Feels good, man. Look at that, dude. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, I will take that. I don't really want any land on the main any land on the mainland. So I will take their money and all of that. There you go. And so our supply lines have been finished. I don't know. I don't really see anything about this. Okay, so we need Constantinople or Rome and have completed humanist or have converted Rome or at least or uh, Constantinople. Okay. Um, change our army doctrine, huh? I don't think I really want to. Spread our religion. That's just for native stuff. I swear there was something about supply lines, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. Either way, we'll get those forts there that will handle a lot of the un or the devastation over here. These provinces here are still going to have a little bit. So maybe we want to build another fort right there that will handle all of that. This fort right here, clearly we've got our money's worth from it. So that's pretty good. Uh, we definitely need to be... Grouping, getting a bigger army over here. The invasion force must continue to improve. So let's pull you guys over there. Let's pull these guys over here. And we will get even more armies built up. Why do I keep getting more merchants? It's like I keep getting the same merchants as well, though. I don't understand it. Right. Let's also make sure we are upping you. You. Um, that's fine. The more we steer, the better. The more money we make, the better. The Hippodrome. Ooh, Alhambra, right. Right, right, right. We can get another 5% admin efficiency, so let's obviously do that. We can upgrade you, and uh, that will definitely be worth its weight in gold. We will go ahead. Right, we need more money. So we'll get you guys built up as well eventually. Clearly, we are making major progress here. So, as far as our mission goes, assemble an evasion force back to the motherland. We need Constantinople. Uh-huh. Become a hegemon. We might be able to get economic eventually. Nah, we're not that close. Okay. Once we take these three techs, we'll be able to start developing manpower and dev. And uh, manpower and uh, production, rather. That would be really useful. Um, but, again, I'm just waiting on this because we plan to take an admin group. So, what's the what's the rush, right? Uh-huh. We'll suppress those rebels. That's no problem with me. How's our absolutism? Basically all the way up. That's awesome. We need to dev this province, so I will dev you twice. Let's put you on dev cost. There we go. Still not able to take any of their land, sadly. Uh, but if I do this, clergy, still not going to be enough. Stupid men. Cathedral, it said, yeah? All right, let's pull you back. And upgrade you. So the one will be over in 77. Oh, man, it's... So... Clerical ministers over to the clergy. Patriarch authority gives them. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. I could, they'll lose a little bit more from land share, but that's about it. Yeah, the Elysian autocracy takes it from them. Somebody had commented about that. It takes it from them. <laughs> so it's good for us. Um... Is there another one that I can do that will take some from them? That is like the main thing that I really need. 
Um, minimal autonomy and territories is nice, but governing capacity is very nice. We don't really need it, though, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and change to the minimum autonomy, and then we can just use that to expand our administration, right? So we, we're actually even ahead. And uh, now these lands, these provinces over here will actually have lower autonomy, which is great. So we'll get a little bit more tax and whatnot. And uh, Trade Depot, yeah, of course, let's build a couple of them, especially in our uh, provinces that are giving us lots of trade. Oh, yeah, we're getting more cultures converted and whatnot. Life is good, man. We're thriving, friends. We are thriving. All right. How long until this truce is up? 77. Okay. So I guess we really need to start considering how we what the next step is. Because we can get claims right here. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, is that really how we need to do this? I mean, we're pretty close. Yeah, limes, and then you get the advanced CBs right after this. So we're very close to imperialism. That will be super, super useful. Let's continue investing into that. Now we need to get Alhambra up to level three and we need to get this up to level three as well. So perhaps it would be in our best interest to just kind of sit back and wait on those guys. All right, obviously we don't want to be standing our entire army over here. Let's have you guys come like over here to suppress those rebels in Corsica. These guys, I said I wanted to save money. But as soon as I get the manpower and the money, we are going to um, get that army built up to the uh, force. They're, you know, the, the combat with rather. Speaking of, still 34, so we're good. That extra mil tech with those extra cannon fire, because if you guys don't know, that mil tech we just took for the cannon fire damage is like one of the best mil techs in the game. Oh, we, we haven't taken it yet. Two artillery fire. Two. That's crazy. That will basically double the amount of damage our cannons do. Almost double it. Isn't that nuts to even think about? All right. We are so close. All right. I am, this is will, I'm willing to do this because this will allow us to revoke. Um, I can't do this one, really, because their loyalty is not at least 36, and I don't have at least two stability. Right. I don't even have one stability. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to take this Church Inquisition, but I can do Oversight. I can take that. And that is... That'll be good. And then we can actually Yoink. That will make them disloyal again, but it's fine. A Master Recruiter. Manpower. I could actually totally use some manpower. So absolutely. Welcome to the fold. And then... Yeah. Okay, we're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot. I don't care about the clergy being disloyal. We're up now up. Got our Absolutism up. You guys doubted me, huh? I doubted me as well. No worries. <laughs> All right. We are calm. Very good. Our air is calm, rather. Uh, production efficiency. Corruption. No, I don't want to lose corruption. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, safe to say the church is mad at us, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Rip the church. All right. Let's go with some production efficiency. Sounds good. I will get this guy up to level five. Spartania is attacking Vinland. Homie! Why you do this? Oh, they're weak. They're actually super weak. Uh, okay. Do we have claims? Do we have missions for that claim? The claims up there? No, our missions are completely done here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't, to be honest, really want to do this. Are my forts upgraded up here? They are all level six. We have our fort zone of control. So I'm just going to have these guys chill over here. I don't really intend to help them. If I don't need to. I have five. Um, so now I'm curious. If I get rid of this. Ah, never mind. I was going to say maybe I could do like an eco ideas. But I wouldn't even be smart. Uh, Patriarch authority or. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine with me. And on the yearly tick, we'll be able to take that, which will be good. Um, hold up, what? Okay, that is a 70 stack. I was just being weird. These guys over here will be formed into a 70 stack as well. And since it's already half, I will just have them come on over here. And then the rest of the stack will be built up right there. Yeah, these guys are annoying. You guys remember when I had the Vringians in the uh, last se series? 
That was a good series. I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, they're, they're scared. They're, they know. They're like, oh, we don't want to fight these guys. We're going to get clapped. As Yes, you will. Yes, you absolutely will. You guys suck. I'll occupy at least what I have claims on. I don't really care about any of the conquest over here, to be honest with you. Um, spy network construction for five years. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I could attack Portugal and take a bunch of land over here, but I don't really care. At this point, it would be mostly just about like maximizing our economy. Um, but I think the major thing that we need to do to grow our economy is mostly... What are you guys in here for? Huh? Quiz quiz? Is quiz quiz like a subject of Spartania? They're allied to Spartania. Okay. Oh, hey. Quiz quiz is Elysian Orthodox. Very cool. <laughs> I just noticed that. I always, I always appreciate little things like that. So we are now up to 240,000, which is a little over half of what the Ottomans have in the field. If you can believe that. That's pretty nuts. Um, Still waiting on that. Definitely need to get you upgraded. But uh, I'll just wait it out. I mean, there's no point in spending money on it if we don't need to. Manpower is something we want to hold on to for now. On the monthly tick, we'll be able to take tech, which is perfect. All three technologies will stay 13 years ahead of time. Look at that. We are technologically advanced. We will get new cannons as well as cannon fire. We are going to go with admin ideas. That's going to give us this one right here. That's the main thing we really want. We don't use mercs, of course. That's kind of the, the main bummer about admin is that it gives you a ton of merc bonuses. But we also get admin tech costs and then governing cap. So, you know, it's not worthless. And considering the fact that we don't really need to do a whole lot until we can get this advanced CB here. It says allow client states, but it's uh, advanced CB, which will give us the ability to form, uh, to uh, declare imperialism wars. Hey, what are you guys doing over there? They're going to take that, aren't they? Say psych right now. Yeah, they said psych. We win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. I'll just, you know, do a little bit of occupations over here. We're still... Honestly, I don't think I'm going to declare a war until... Oh my gosh, yes. This tech is going to be really good as well. So obviously we don't want to be too... Um, I just want this idea, and then we'll get tech. And that'll be really good for us. Did I just take a loan? What was that? I missed something. Hippodrome, right. Do we have you upgraded all the way? We do. Hippodrome. Um, for the national unrest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. 4,000? Eh. I'd rather upgrade this one here for the extra 5%. Um, war score cost. And then this one over here for the extra 5% admin efficiency. 5% admin efficiency is like 15 absolutism, if you don't know. That's like the equivalent of it. What am I looking for? Right here. Uh, where's my absolutism? Right here. More, more taxes. What are you guys doing over here? You guys are fools. You guys are silly willies, huh? Go on, get. Goofy Northman. When the Northmen deliver us, delivered right into my hands. <laughs> Let's see how many men I'm how many men I've lost. Seven thousand. Finland has lost fifty some. I'm with me. Here we go. I will take that. And now I will work on this idea group. Obviously we need to wait on time, right? There's no rush. And let's uh upgrade you guys. And uh, obviously, we need to save up so we can upgrade him, the Alhambra. Now, I mean, now we are way ahead of time on these two techs, so that is great. That means we can do plenty of development. Now, I don't need you guys to be on uh, development cost anymore. Let's go with trade power. Look at that. Look how much money we're making. So good. Over 500 now. Um, so let's see here. Do I have my edicts set up in any particular way? Um... No. Okay. So let's take a look at some of these provinces. Right. The autonomy down here is still pretty bad because of the um, extended rights. Yeah. Huh. 
I thought I integrated them with the Senate, right? Oh, I abolished the Senate. Yeah, okay. I thought that I... It's just because of the autonomy change, I assume? Yeah. Extended rights. Ah, okay. So does that mean there's no goods produced at all then? So any province that I, or any of that that I put in here? No, so goods produced isn't affected by great, by, uh, by that. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I probably still don't want to develop it just because it's not, um, not as useful for us personally. Let's see here. I would love to develop some of that. We got paper here. Sure. I just changed it off of the, uh, the other one. So it's fine. We'll just go with the. Get you guys out of there. No, just kidding. Oh my gosh. They're flooding their men in here. Look at that. That's half their that's over half their army right here. Fifty two thousand Varingians, man. Or Vinlanders. Let's see here. How about a coalition? Yep, we're good. Just Spain. They're the only ones that could really join. Spain and then a couple of natives over here. Oh no, anyways. Alright. Let's uh, pull you guys over here. Let's get these armies grouped up. Might as well. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, pull you guys over there. Put you guys on defensiveness. Uh, some good good siege ticks for them. 21%. Come on, baby. There you go. Oh, we have died. Long live Constantino. So 336. I can live with you. You, uh, you will be all right. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, to make this happen. Put you guys on defensiveness as well. No state up there as well. Goodness gracious. I didn't state a bunch of stuff up in the north. Yeah, I don't think I win this. I do win this one for sure, though. We can take them on when they outnumber us like 50%, but not 100%. All right, here we go. Shift consolidate. Get on in there. Looks like they are doing okay. Let's sally out. Free stability, heck yeah, man. So if you're gonna gain a free stability, you might as well get an extra stability. So there you go, now we got two stabilities. How many stabilities do you have? I got all kinds of stabilities. So we still have a fort line, interior, so they can't really do much. Uh, they'll probably peace out sooner rather than later. Though I really would like to occupy some land over here so that they could tentatively give us some. That would be great. Now let's take a look here. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a minute. Free admin mana. Yes, please. We want to stack up our admin mana. And uh, we're focused on admin, so that is good. Let's see here. Yeah, they're not going to separate piece me. I'm going to have to occupy their land on my own. Our general is dead. I think that was this guy. No, no, no. Different guy. All right. I suppose we can attack these guys for a uh, reconquest. Reconquest. So I'll ally these guys just to see. Wait, did I just ally them and they immediately flip the hostile? No. Okay, that's really weird. All right, let's um. I would love for you guys to break your alliance. How much do you need for that? Fifty favors. Fifty favors and fifty opinion. How much opinion? Um, it's going to take some time, but I think I might be able to swing that, actually. Yeah, I think we can do that. Oh, poor Boatman. Boatman getting, getting dominated down there. All right. Great project is just the Hippodrome. Alhambra is probably... Yeah, it's making progress towards finishing up. You guys over here are going to be a minute. And then in the, the last little bit of time, we can save up. Just kidding. We're going to finish that. And now I will buy level three soon. Yeah, I don't know why they're not piecing out. That's kind of typical of the AI, honestly. They just love sitting in wars for long periods of time for no reason.
All right. One more month. We can do that. We will not be clicking that. We're going to wait and get this one because that extra 10% admin efficiency is very powerful. All right. Alhambra gets started. Level 3. That's 5% admin efficiency. As well as uh, income from vassals. Very important. 10% income from vassals. But this one here is also going to be another 5% war score cost versus other religions. You know what? We're not going to be able to get this admin anytime soon. So let's just go ahead and take that. If you don't know, each idea that you take gives you an extra 2%. So 34% from ideas. You see how strong that is. If we had time, we would just push through this and get that extra 10%, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, let's go ahead and summon a diet, get the clergy. Two uh, admin dev in this province. It's fine. I can do that. It makes them nice and loyal. Obviously, we want to save up our admin, but it's not a huge deal. There we go. And, uh, yeah, this war is basically over with them. So, guys, if you're enjoying the campaign, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Leave, subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell. Join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. It's all linked in the description below the video. And if you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon linked in the description below. Check out my second channel, Chubert, if you want to check that out for some edited content. But that's all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.